Here's where you're headed when you teach the freestyle flip turn. Notice the unbroken, eyes down approach, the straight over flip, the tight tuck, the lack of extra arm movement, the sure and solid foot placement, the streamlined push, the quick dolphin kicks that transition into flutter kick, and a forward moving breakout. The freestyle flip is a complicated gymnastic movement that takes place at high speed. We'll take it one step at a time using a 10 step teaching progression that starts with blowing bubbles and ends with a continuous turn that looks like this. Blowing bubbles out the nose is skill number one for learning the flip turn. Without this basic skill, swimmers will get water up their nose and this makes flip turns a very unpleasant experience. Here's where you need to get in the pool with your swimmer. Have them take a big breath and then go underwater with them to make sure bubbles are coming out their nose. Have them look at you and imitate. When you see lots of bubbles from their nose, you can move on to flips. Have the swimmer push off right at the surface with hands by their sides. Tell them to go straight over fast and blow bubbles out your nose. Don't give any additional instruction. Just see what happens. If they go over and you want to fine tune how they do it, some good instructions should be bend at the waist and look at your knees. Make your chin go to your chest and then bow. Get your face close to your knees. Step two is to swim three to five strokes toward mid pool and then stop one hand and then the other hand by the hips and then lean down with the chest to submerge the body. Here it is again, three to five strokes, then one hand back, then the other, then lean down with the chest. You should feel as if you're angling down a ramp and that your head is breaking through an underwater paper wall. Step three adds one more motion to your sequence. Start with three to five strokes, then flow into a straight over flip. For step four, you need a noodle cut in half. Float face down, holding the noodle at your hips with palms facing down. Push off into a straight over flip. As you begin the flip, keep your arms straight and look for your knees. You slide the noodle down the back of your legs to your knees. When the noodle is past your knees, let go of the noodle and continue to flip straight over. Push off, keep the arms straight, look for the knees, let go of the noodle and continue straight over. For step number five, stand on the bottom of the pool or on the deck and place a tall Abraham Lincoln type hat on the top of your head. Now try to push the hat back. Keep your elbows bent and in front of your face where you can see them. Point the fingers straight up with palms facing the hat and use both hands to push the hat back just a few inches. Repeat this motion, making sure to use both hands so that you'll get the feeling of using your hands like this during the flip. For step six, swim four to five strokes toward mid pool and get into a head lead position, then submerge. As you flip straight over, slide your hands down your legs to your knees as if you were holding the noodle and then use your palms to push the water back over the top of your head as if you were pushing back the hat and then streamline and push off on your back. Four to five strokes, one hand back, the other hand back, Think noodle, hat, streamline. In step number seven, practice a head lead approach to the wall by stopping the arms at your sides as the head passes the tee at the end of the lane. Sight the wall by looking at the bottom edge of the pool where the bottom meets the wall or by siding the bottom row of tiles of the target on the wall. Come to a head lead position. Know where the wall is and stop without flipping. Make sure you've finished your last stroke and submerge, but don't come too close to the wall. Step number eight is to swim toward the wall and submerge on the last stroke. Flip straight over, thinking noodle as you slide your arms down your legs, then hat as you push water toward the top of your head, and then streamline as you extend and push off the wall. We're almost there. In step nine, you'll flip straight over. Push back the hat, streamline, push off on your back, 
and then rotate slowly until you are facing the bottom of the pool. Notice which side you roll to. Usually one side feels more comfortable than the other. As you roll from back to side to front, hold your streamline until you see the bottom of the pool. When you can see the bottom, then you may pull that arm that's on the side to which you were rolling. Do not breathe on this first stroke. In the final step, step number 10, you push off slightly on your back rather than directly on your back. Start with a straight over flip, the same movement as before, but this time the feet land slightly to one side, your more comfortable side. As you push off just slightly on your back, hold a tight streamline until the body rotates toward the bottom of the pool. As you rotate, start with two to three quick dolphin kicks then transition to flutter kick and the first pull into breakout. Flip straight over but slightly on your back. Push off to a quick dolphin into flutter and into the first pull and breakout. Notice that all the moves are continuous and smooth and that the first stroke is executed at a depth that allows the pulling shoulder to clear the water as that arm is finishing. In this final clip at normal speed, Notice the continuous motion and lack of extra motion. The turn is compact, smooth, and efficient.